Let's talk about Good Omens episode 2, the book. Spoilers! So in this episode we get to meet a few more of the secondary characters and in general we get to spend more time with the secondary characters and they are killing it. Honestly, the supporting cast in this thing is just amazing. We get to meet Anatoma, we get to meet Newt, they're both brilliant, they're charming. We also meet Miss Tracy and um, Sergeant Shadwell, who is maybe a little too good looking, but I'm not gonna complain about that. The kids are very cute as well, I forgot to mention the kids. We also have a few characters who are not originally in the book, but they really work. We have a few extra angels and demons, especially uh, Gabriel, and I'm not sure who was with him. There is a scene that was added in there of them showing up at the Zero Fells shop, and trying to, I guess, be very subtle about the fact that they're angels and failing miserably. It was a really funny scene, I enjoyed it. It kind of fits in very seamlessly. It doesn't seem like something that has been added in. And I thought it was a very interesting just juxtaposition between the fact that Aziraphale next to Crawley seems to be very much behind the times and old-fashioned and there are certain moderate things he doesn't understand very well, but then when you put him next to his peers, you see how how much ahead of them he is. He's like light years ahead of them in terms of understanding the world and, and humans and Earth, and they just have no clue what's happening, and yet they are in charge of what has to happen to this planet and to all the people who live in it. Um, so I thought that that was really cool. Michael Sheen as Aziraphale continues to be the best thing about this show. I honestly adore him, which again is really great because I've always loved Aziraphale, but he wasn't, b between Aziraphale and Crowley, he wasn't my favorite in the books. And I think that it's pretty cool that the show has given me a version of him that I am this amount of enthusiastic about. Unfortunately, I still think, like I did with the first episode, that that's slightly at the ex expense of Crowley. Now, before I say what I'm going to say next, uh, here's a disclaimer. I am not trying to um, dump on David Tennant or Neil Gaiman, both of whom I really love. I think they're absolutely brilliant. Um, and I understand that a series doesn't necessarily have to be like the book, but I can't help but notice the differences in this case. So I'm going to continue noticing them, but it's not, you know, it's not criticism that's coming from any bad place. Um, here's a problem that I have. I think the way that the book was written, even though Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett pretty much had equal input in it, um, as far as I know, Sir Terry was writing most of the Aziraphale and Crowley stuff, and um, Neil Gaiman was writing uh, most of the Horsemen of the Apocalypse stuff, and that sort of thing. And maybe that's part of the reason the characterization of Aziraphale and Crowley doesn't entirely fit the book for me. Terry Pratchett to me is the best writer I can think of. Anyone pales by comparison. Um, so it's not that I don't love Neil Gaiman's writing, it's just that Sir Terry is impossible to match, in my opinion, and he's known for deep and, and subtle and complex characterization. So I think when he was writing Aziraphale and Crowley, they were a lot more nuanced. And I think that in the series, they're coming off as a little more traditional. And I mentioned in my review of the first episode that there are certain details that have been changed on, or swapped between them, which make them slightly less complex, I think. I think that this Crowley is a bit more jaded, that's the word one of my friends used, and I think it was spot on. I guess they tried to make him a bit more demony. There's a few things in there that I don't entirely agree with. For example, when they 
are at a restaurant together, Aziraphale is the only one who eats. Crowley doesn't seem to be eating. And that to me is just weird. But they seem to have made that into Aziraphale's personality trait, how much he loves food. So they drink together, but Crowley never seems to eat, which I, I don't know, I found it strange. And then there's a little moment where they are in the former convent looking for uh, the satanic nuns trying to find where the Antichrist is and Aziraphale makes a comment about Crowley being nice deep down and Crowley just kind of flies off the handle and grabs him by the shirt and is like really angry and trying to be threatening and scary and that was absolutely bizarre to watch. That for me is so different from the character I know. But again, that's okay. And Crowley was originally Neil Gaiman's character. That's, that's where it all started. It all started with Crowley and he initially wrote him. So I can't really complain. Maybe this is what he was always meant to be. I just like... The book version of him or my what I got from the book, book version of him a little bit better. I think in the book he was a lot more um, fascinated with the world and really enjoying it and kind of really liking humans and also he had quite a few moments where he was trying to explain that no actually most demons aren't evil and He's not evil and he seemed almost slightly offended when people would suggest that that's all the demons were. Whereas in his, he seems to be trying to, uh, you know, I'm totally evil, I'm, I'm evil, don't, don't say that I'm not, I'm, I'm totally a demon. Uh, which was kind of the opposite of what I would expect. But again, that's, that's, that's fine, it's just a different interpretation. It doesn't, it doesn't make the series bad in any way. Um, but I will probably continue to note those little moments. I do love the fact that they kept the bit about Crowley's plants in there, the fact that he scares them into growing really well and being really beautiful. Uh, that was, I think, something very cool in the book that they decided to include, so I'm happy they included it. In terms of the chemistry between the two of them, it's there. I would like to see a little bit more of it. Um, there's a few pretty cool moments between them. You see the actors kind of bouncing off of each other. Uh, there's a really fun little moment where they um, hit uh, Anathema on her bicycle and there's really cute banter between them, which was also in the book. I, I love that. That worked really, really well. Um, there's a little cute moment where Crowley cleans Zerfell's coat when they had, get hit by paintballs. That was nice as well. I'm still waiting to see a little bit more because this entire thing kind of revolves around them and you really need that chemistry. But there's quite a few episodes left, so uh, I'm guessing it will probably show up. Those are two really good actors, so I do think they are doing a really good job. Overall, I thought it was a pretty good episode. I really loved the supporting cast. I laughed quite a few times. I did enjoy quite a few moments between Aziraphale and Crowley as well, so I was pretty happy with it and hopefully you were too. See you in the next episode!